scientists are always making new discoveries in space, with NASA also coming forward every year and documenting new planets, galaxies, exoplanets and various other enigmas. A few years back on December 1st, NASA's Stereo spacecraft watches something massive entered into our solar system, detailing that the spacecraft detected a huge wave of charged material shooting out of it. Those who watched the video said you could see huge plasma and solar ejector hitting Mercury, noting that other objects in the nearby area were also lighting up as well. On top of this, those who saw the object described it as looking like a large circular or cylindrical object. One individual who made a video on the finding said this, It's cylindrical on either side and has a shape in the middle. It definitely looks like a ship to me, and very obviously is cloned. There's absolutely no explanation. What object in space cloaks itself and doesn't appear until it gets hit by energy from the sun? End quote. The NASA telescope revealed to scientists on the ground that the objects seemed to appear out of nowhere, and due to a flare going past Mercury, it started to reveal the massive objects that appear to be just hovering there. Once the video was released, it led to people to put forward their theories for what they thought it was, and they ranged from rogue asteroids, to a planet that hadn't been detected by NASA, and also mysterious cloaked objects that somehow made their way into the solar system. Some users went on to say that this isn't the first time that strange objects have been detected by NASA spacecrafts, and that every year these mysterious objects can be seen around our sun, with some of those being observed hovering close to the sun for several hours, before flying off at incredible speeds. Although the photographs are interesting and normally always spark debates online, NASA and other scientists have said it's nothing to worry about, and that what you're actually seeing is just Mercury from the previous day. The photographs were given to the United States Naval Research Laboratory to analyse, and engineer Nathan Rich did for his interviews with websites in order to clear up what had been seen. Rich said the following, When this averaging process is done between the previous day and the current day, and there's a feature like a planet, this introduces dark artifacts in the background where the planet was on the previous day, which then show up as bright areas in the enhanced image. End quote. Astronomer Dr. Heather Cooper had this to say. The scientists have not managed to subtract the image of Mercury. The technical guys are saying the problem is when you try to subtract something that's moving, the pixels end up blending into each other. It's imaging processing that they haven't got their heads around. No way could it be an alien spaceship the size of Mercury, because Mercury is the size of our moon, and we would know about it. End quote. According to Russ Howard, head scientist of the NRL group, they also agreed that what was seen was just an artifact that was left over from the raw HI-1 telescope data. Interestingly, NASA said the following on their website in regards to mysterious flying aircrafts. Does NASA search for extraterrestrial life? One of NASA's key goals is the search for life in the universe. To date, NASA is yet to find any credible evidence of extraterrestrial life. However, NASA has long been exploring the solar system and beyond to help answer fundamental questions, including whether we're alone in the universe, the agency's astrobiology program focuses on the origins, evolution and distribution of life beyond Earth. From studying water on Mars, probing promising ocean worlds such as Titan and Europa, to looking for biosignatures in the atmosphere of our cosmic neighbourhood, and planets outside our solar system. NASA's science missions are working together with a goal to find unmistakable signs of life beyond Earth. Does NASA search for or study unidentified aerial phenomena? NASA does not actively search for UAPs. However, through our Earth observing satellites, NASA collects extensive data about Earth's atmosphere, often in collaboration with the other space agencies of the world. 
while these data are not specifically collected to identify UAPs or alien techno signatures, they are publicly available and anyone may use them to search the atmosphere. While NASA doesn't actively search for UAPs, if we learn of UAPs, it would open the door to new science questions to explore. Atmospheric scientists, aerospace experts and other scientists could all contribute to understanding the nature of this phenomenon. Exploring the unknown in space is at the heart of who we are. End quote. The focus of our research into space now seems to be heavily focused on discovering life. Scientists believe that the meteors that have brushed up against the atmosphere of the Earth may have transferred microbial life to Venus. Recently, traces of phosphine have been detected within the clouds of Venus. This is an extremely significant discovery, as on Earth, phosphine is a byproduct of life. Of course, the most exciting conclusion to draw would be that there is existing life on Venus, though this is not particularly plausible. The suggestion instead, however, is that the phosphine has been transferred from Earth to Venus. The Department of Astronomy at Harvard hypothesized that the asteroids might have brushed by the Earth's atmosphere, moving some microbes along with it, therefore explaining their presence on neighboring planets within the solar system. Currently, it's estimated that over 600,000 asteroids have brushed by Earth's atmosphere. Scientists have rightly pointed out that before we can attempt to explain extraterrestrial life forms this may have resulted in, we must first figure out what's within the upper atmosphere of Earth. We know very little about this terrestrial life, but these microbes are being transferred around our solar system, such as within Venus's atmosphere, thanks to the asteroids grazing our planet's atmosphere. If we aim to continue this research, the exploration may need to start a little closer to Earth. Investigating the microbial life within the Earth's upper atmosphere at an altitude of an estimated 52 miles or 85 kilometers. Space no longer seems unreachable for humans. Walking on the moon is arguably one of our most impressive feats. Various researchers have said that in order to carry on, we need to look to the stars and start exploring other planets. Since venturing into space, thousands of images have been taken, some of which show important details of planets, moons and asteroids, and others which are blank. However, within this vast collection are some that have stood out, and this is because those that have looked at them have struggled to explain what they're looking at. One such photograph was shared back in 2015, but not many people know about it. One of the first places to feature the images were various UFO websites, stating that it possibly showed a disc-shaped UFO hovering above the moon's surface. According to UFO researchers, they say the moon is of particular interest to UFOs, and have even gone as far as saying that these UFOs use the far side of the moon. This is the side that doesn't face the Earth, and they do this in order not to be seen by us. NASA and other officials have said these are just theories, and that there's never been any proof to suggest that UFOs are on the moon. But believers use photographs like this to suggest that there's more happening on the moon than what we're being told about. Although many would dispel the notion that intelligent alien life exists elsewhere in our galaxy, there are a number of theorists that not only believe that alien life is here, but that such extraterrestrials have already established vast research bases on our planet, for the sole purpose of studying the human race like a pack of lab mice. Many people falsely believe that sightings of UFOs have only spawned in the modern era, due to science fiction movies and other similar popular culture references in the mainstream. This is far from the truth, as ancient accounts of alien activity and unidentified flying objects exist all throughout history. As of today, not much information can be gathered about this strange object seen hovering above the moon's surface. One person at the time suggested that it's actually an optical illusion, and from our perspective it looks like this object is hovering when it isn't, 
but others debunk this idea and said you can clearly see that something is there and it's not making contact with the moon. Even astronauts themselves have come forward and told stories of strange objects that they've seen in space. One of the most influential American heroes of the 1950s, as well as the key figure in helping to locate a number of nuclear sites all around the world, was that of Major Gordon Cooper. Gordon Cooper has been a part of a number of top secret missions in space, with several revolving around the use of highly advanced technologies. During one of his many space missions, he claimed to have come into contact with an extraterrestrial craft. During Gordon Cooper's space mission that included a solo journey with a planned 22 orbit trip around the Earth, he claimed to have seen a glowing object that appeared to be bright green slowly approach his spacecraft, and this happened as he viewed it through the porthole. Additionally, the approach of the object was also picked up by the Machia tracking station, which can be found in the town of Machia in Australia, confirming Cooper's encounter. This would lead to the astronaut eventually agreeing to take on a two-day mission, in which he would work to analyse footage and evidence of extraterrestrial visitation of the planet, that would eventually lead him to giving a speech at the United Nations to discuss his findings. During his speech, he described later coming across evidence of extraterrestrial crafts, gathered evidence of anomalous aircrafts as well as stating the following. I saw with my own eyes a defined air of ground being consumed by flames, with four indentations left by flying objects which had descended in the middle of a field. Beings had left the craft. There were other traces to prove this. They seemed to have studied topography. They had collected soil samples, and eventually they returned to where they'd come from, disappearing at enormous speed. End quote. It's estimated that thousands of unidentified flying objects are reported every year, and although it's suspected that a large majority of these can be easily explained, whether that's as natural phenomena, wildlife such as birds, the military, weather balloons or drones, some have said that a few of these UFO reports are hard to explain. But what happens when these strange crafts are photographed on things like the moon and other planets? The list of possible explanations suddenly become shorter. Regardless, space agencies have said they've never seen a photograph which has caused them to label it as an unidentified flying object. One interesting story comes from Nikola Tesla, and this happened when he was working with radio equipment. Though its influence in history has been astounding, the small broadcast device we know as the radio has not been around for very long. In fact, its inventor Nikola Tesla did not first conceive of the device until 1885. Despite the young age of the device, it was made apparent that Mr. Tesla was far ahead of his own time when coming up with its invention, being the only inventor of his time to be made aware of the electromagnetic spectrum and the ability to tap into its power and uses. Oddly enough, Tesla wrote extensively in his notes that when he made the first radio capable of receiving and broadcasting a signal, as soon as he turned on the device he could already hear another person's voice on the other side. He would later go on to claim that people transmitting him a signal were those of beings living on the surface of Mars, and that they were attempting to make first contact with him. This was only made more eerie as Nikola Tesla wrote that this voice was that of a man calling out his name, saying Tesla 123 over and over again, before the signal cut out entirely. Many researchers speculate that this signal could have been nothing more than background radiation misinterpreted, and could have been caused by a solar wind of the sun. However, many believe that perhaps something far more creepy could have been going on in the background, no explanation for this strange occurrence has been provided, and still many more speculate that perhaps Nikola Tesla made contact with something not quite human, ranging from extraterrestrials to time travellers. Various theories have been put forward on trying to discover the route of Nikola Tesla's first received broadcasts. So what do you make of this interesting photograph? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.